Nekoma muadani Nema kogegani ae Konene yonagoteo Tiderone wagere Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we give you glory because you are wonderful and you are so gracious. There is none like you, neither shall there be, dear Father. We are gathered here together for the sake of the kingdom that we serve. And we pray, Holy Spirit of the living God, that you are going to take dominance of our spirit, of our soul, and even of our entire life. And your name shall be glorified because you are good and your mercy is endures forever. In Jesus' name we pray. Say Amen. 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 So before, before sitting down, I just want us to read this word, venturing in the topic that we are going to focus today, another milestone, another milestone. Do you believe that you are making for another milestone? Hallelujah. Okay, let me read the word of God in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 2 from verse 1, from verse 1 to verse 3. Then I will allow you to take your seat. Even those watching us, we welcome you in the name of Jesus. And we believe that God is going to visit you. And he's going to give you uh, his essence of which your life shall never be the same again. Okay, let me read. Then we turned and took our journey into the wilderness by the way of the Red Sea. As the Lord spake unto me, and we compassed Mount Seir many days. And the Lord spake unto me, saying, You have compassed this mountain long enough. Turn you northward. Turn you northward. Father, I say thank you. Give us the revelation of your word. And may your goodness follow us. Because you are awesome and gracious. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. You just take your seat. I believe that all those who are in the auditorium, those watching us, you are not watching us in vain. But there is a plan and there is a purpose. Hallelujah. Shege, there is a plan for this day. Today is the 30th day in the month of November 2023. And we are just about to enter the month of December. So I believe this word is very much prophetic. And it is going to work for you from today. And mark me, mark this word today that it is going to work for you. Another milestone. Another milestone. 
even those who are going to aid our sister, because you are going to aid our sister, you have been there for her. But I believe that also your time is coming. Because it is another milestone that's coming in your life. And your life shall never be the same again. Maybe you have compassed a certain kind of mountain. You have compassed a mountain of looking for employment or even seeking the desires of your heart. It, was not, it is no different from this time when the children of Israel, they were in a state of stagnation. When you are in a state of stagnation, that state does not glorify God. It does not glorify God. Sometimes I found myself there in a state of stagnation, not going forward, nothing making a meaning in my life, facing a life of no result at all, at all. And sometimes I could ask God, what was, what was your reason for bringing me here in this world? But God has got a reason and a purpose for everybody. You did not come here in vain. There's a, a reason why you are alive today. Because God is taking you somewhere. If he's not taking you somewhere, you could not have been alive today. There is the reason. So these children of Israel, they thought that they have reached that place. In fact, when you read the word of God, there's a place they reached known as Kadesh Bania. Kadesh Bania was a place where they were just going round and around. There was no progress, progress at all. Maybe you are in a state whereby you take one step forward and you find yourself going back toward two to three steps. I come to acknowledge to you today that a time is coming that God is going to project you. And even, not even projecting you, but even catapulting you to a position more than what you believe and even more, more than what you think. My baby, you might think that you have been confined in Dendero, but the, uh, the purpose of God might not be for you to be in Dendero. And he's preparing a place that he's going to take you. So as they were in that mountain, Mount, Mount Sia, God told Moses, tell them to march northward. He did not tell them to go southward or eastward or westward, but he told them to go northward. Because northward it is a place of the new dimension of the revelation of God. Northward is the place of the manifestation of the divine nature of the Almighty. Northward is uh, the place of, the, uh, the, of divine purpose, of the elevation toward his people. So he was telling them, now because you have compassed here. And I believe that next, from next month, you are going to take your compass and your compass will start to point northward. And when you start that journey of northward, nothing shall hold you back because it is said that forward ever and backward never. The realization of God will become the truth because northward is when there is uh, physical manifestation of the application of the word of God. Northward is when things become a reality in the life of somebody. Even myself, I'm looking for that northward. I want to take the journey northward. You know, even Joshua, there was a time when Moses died, God told Joshua, that my servant Moses is dead. Now Joshua arise. Arise. And today he's telling you arise. Because when you are in just one spot. You cannot actually. You cannot actually. Uh, see. Or even experience the greatness of God. But when you take the step of going. In the book of Isaiah 60. 
Is it, the Bible says that arise and shine. So this month, as you skip and enter in the month of December, because the month of December, we are in the season of rescue, if you don't know. Maybe you have been in captivity, just as the, children of the Israelites in Gaza has been rescued. In the realm of the spirit, it is the children of God who are being rescued and being taken to their initial position and to their initial inheritance. We are in the time of rescue. And I believe that God is going to rescue you. And he's going to take you to a place that you have ever been desiring. Because he told Joshua, tell the children of Israel, take now, take the initiative. That's why we are supposed to change our paradigms the way we think. And to know that there is something cooking somewhere. There is something that's cooking somewhere for the sake of my goodness. There is something happening somewhere. If you don't believe myself, I believe. My brother, there's something cooking somewhere for you. Something. Could you tell Maggie that on Saturday she'll be, uh, be wedded somewhere? Maybe two to three years ago she could tell you, I, that's, that's a dream. Even I don't know. I don't have a person who have a menu. This is Hakuna. Buenas fias sana. The Bible says that the plan that I have for you, it is not the plan of evil, but a plan of good to give you a hope and a future. In the book of Jeremiah 29, 11, that the plan that I have for you, they are not the plan of evil, but of good to give you a hope and also a future. So God was telling, was telling uh, Moses, take them. Take them so that I may fulfill all that I spoke to you, your forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Take them so that the things may become a reality. And if I told you have read the word of God, sometimes the word of God becomes a reality to them that actually are in, in lineage with his word. It becomes, becomes a reality. If the Bible says in the book of Deuteronomy chapter, chapter that, uh, 28 verse 13 that I shall not be the tail by the head. That is the reality of the word of God. Now here in the Okatia, the promises that I usually uh, get hold and I incline to those promises because one time I know that one time I know that I shall see the reality of those words. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Even if the word says that one shall not lack his mate. For those who have not gotten married, that's a promise. If you look at such it in the word, in the Bible, and hold on to that promise, that you shall not lack your mate. We are, we are missing many things because we don't know of the promises of God. But when you know of the promise, then... It shall become a truth and a reality in your life. The Bible says in the book of uh, Psalm 92 verse 13, that them that are planted in the house of the Lord, are you planted in the house of the Lord? The Bible says that they shall flourish in his courts. I don't know whether you are getting the word flourish. It is to spread. It is to be promoted. It is to expand. It is to be empowered. It is to be enriched. It is to be made a victor and a conqueror. So those that are planted, and that's why myself, I usually encourage myself that I shall remain in the house of the Lord. That's why David was saying, um, I shall enter his gates with thanksgiving in my, uh, in my hand. And I shall also enter his courts with the praises. Because in the house of the Lord there is flourishing. Outside it is destruction. So I encourage you this, this night that, or this evening. 
that you dwell in the house of the Lord and the favors of God shall settle upon your life. When Magi will get married, she will throw a baton to somebody. Somebody will hold the baton and will enter maybe next year or the other year will just enter in the same dimension of being married or getting married or, or marrying. Praise the name of the Lord. So he said, raise up, take your journey and pass over Anon. Anon, in another one, the word Anon, A-R-N-O-N, means speed. God can give you speed. So it doesn't matter. He gave Abraham speed. Even after waiting for the child for 25 years, God gave him speed. And Isaac was born. And Isaac became a laughter. Because the meaning of the word Isaac is laughter. So God can give you laughter. Praise the name of the Lord. So there is another dimension that God will take you. There is another milestone. There is another milestone remaining. That The first milestone was when they came and they reached the Mount Seir and they thought that they have reached there. But God was taking them somewhere. So there is another milestone for you and also for me. And it has started. And we are going to gain it. And we are going to venture in that milestone. Because there is expansion. There is prosperity. There is diversity. That one is coming. It is coming. Because our God is not a liar. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. The Bible says that in the book of Isaiah chapter 10, chapter 61 verse 10, that I will greatly rejoice in the Lord my, my, in the Lord, uh, my God. For he has clothed me with the garments. That one is in the book of Isaiah 61 verse 10. He has clothed me with the garments of salvation. He is speaking about the garments, not garment, but garments. So God can clothe you with the garments of the salvation. He can save you and deliver you from any situation. You can just name them because they are the garments. He can clothe you with the garment of victory, of financial breakthrough, of even promotion. Maybe you are here, my sister, you think that you are just asking your, yourself, you are in the mode of confusion. Now, kwa sababu nasimamia, unachua hata sisi tulisimamia marusi. Hata sisi tulisimamia, brother Muturi. Tulisimamia. Na tukafika mahali tukasimamia, hata sisi tukasimamiwa. Hata yu nasimamia, utasimamiwa. Hata yu nainua mwitu mungine, utainuliwa. Thus, those are the arithmetic of God. Because the Bible says that give and it shall be given unto you. And the, the, what will be given unto you will be a good measure, shaken, pressed down, and, and even running over shall men bring at your bosom. So today, I'm bringing you the message of another milestone. Another milestone of the empowerment of God. Another milestone of production. Another milestone of being elevated to another level. There is another level. There is another level. There is another. It is not. The, you, maybe you think you are in that. The way you are. Uh -uh. There is another level. And that is the another milestone that I am bringing to you this evening. Of which you shall venture because some of you, what you desire, the time has come. The time has come. And when I say the time has come, maybe, may, probably you might say it is, it is this minute. But when you hear about uh, the word saying the time has come, it is in that time frame. It is in that time from, it is in that season. It has come, it is for you 
to embrace it because God is going to infringe some issue in your life which shall propagate another glorious revelation that will make you to venture to your desired position. So the time has come. The milestone has started. Wakati unachukua the baton, unajua, ukichukua hivi hawazi na speed, unaza kuchukua one step. So, can you receive your baton today? Can you receive it? Because there is something that is happening. Why I told you, I told you to come here inside, I, there was an inspiration inside me that God want to bring something. Want to bring something. And mark, mark you from today. There is something unique that is going to happen. God is going to make you have a destiny connector. He's going to connect you with somebody. And that somebody will show you the way. Praise the name of the Lord. Are you ready? Are you ready? Because God is very much ready to initiate his word. That you have encompassed. Or even if some of your family members knows that you have compassed. They know that no change is happening in your life. And even you, you know very well that you have been compassing. Even your closest friends, some of them, they are very far away. But that should not disturb you. You know. Even your friends, some of them that were compassing with you, they have already gone. But your time of taking the direction of northward has come in this season. And it has started. It has started. Buenas vias, sana. Unaenda. Nakwambia unaenda. Some of you tomorrow, some of you next year will not be here. Will not be here because you have already seasoned. The door has already been opened and the season has started for you to march and to go northward. The door has already gotten open. Vile ile mlango imefunguliwa. Kuna mtu mlango wake umefunguliwa. Sai sai sai. Praise the name of the Lord. That next year will never be the same to you. Praise Jesus. Can we stand on our feet? It is my prayer that God may appropriate his word because he inspired to me and I've spoken it. Just lift up your hands and tell God, Father, you are the truth. Oh God, I'm waiting for you. I've compassed in this mountain. I've compassed in the mountain of unemployment. I've compassed in the mountain of financial retardation. I've compassed in the mountain of being despised. A big compass in the mountain of being overlooked. But oh Lord God Almighty, I wait upon thee because you are the God of rescue. May you come and rescue my life since you are no respecter of person. Thank you, Lord. I give you worship, Lord. I give you glory. Father, appropriate your word. Appropriate your word. Let the reality be manifested. Let the reality follow your people because you are precious and you are awesome. We give you all the glory. We have come to the end of the service. Can you just put your hand together because of our God? God bless you so much. We have come to the end of service. Those watching online, let's meet tomorrow during lunch hour service and even those in the auditorium, God bless you. Thank you for coming and may the manifestation of Lord become a reality in your life. Those online, it's, it's come the time of giving. Even those in the auditorium, if got something to give, God will go and, is going to bless you and is going to rest, rescue you and even restore you. Let's pray for the giving of the people. Those online, you can use the pay bill number that appears on the screen, 222-118, and you can use the account, uh, bank account, family bank account that appears on the screen and I believe that God is going to bless you. Let's pray. Father, we say thank you for those who are giving are even using 
uh, this platform to deliver their tithe offering or thanksgiving. Remember them, oh God Almighty, I pray that you, you lift them, you bless them, you take them to another level because you are holy and you are gracious. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for coming. May the favor of the Lord rest upon your life. Those, watch, those watching us, see you tomorrow.